see. Did his name disappear in uh, red? Set of grounds. Anything else around here? Okay. Monkey. The hairless monkey drinking Coca Cola. And a free gun. This is what it looks like. Pretty sweet, huh? huh? Oh, hold it. Watch where you point that thing. Sorry. He's a magician. You see, I take ID guns like the PMCs use and make some mods. Then you can use them without having to match IDs. In other words, I'm a gun launderer. You can call me Drip. Drippin'. Drippin'. Yeah, they use that for all of us. There are more of you. All over the world. Not that I ever met any of them personally. Me, I'm Drebin number 893. <laughs> you ain't a registered PMC employee. Are you? Sure, sugar not. Line model, real popular with the big PMC. High precision, not like that government issue shit. <laughs> it's a uh, free floating, of course. Relax, that barrel's clean. Is the Hider CQC compatible? The beauty of this sucker is that it's got a lot of customizable parts. Change it up the way you want to meet your everyday needs. Flip up sight, rail system. Not bad. Yeah, well, you know, I get a lot of noobs around here. Noobs. And if you need them, I got a wide selection of aftermarket parts as well. Frame's pretty rigid. No rattle. Go ahead. Give her a squeeze. Huh. Keep on the trigger. Really? Whee. That's weird. What's weird? Wait, I got it. I bet you're using an older generation of nano machines. Older generation. Sometimes they don't really chat with new systems. Seriously, who are you? Slow down. <clears throat> My day job's working at AT Security. Arms tech.
But you ain't exactly green. Yeah. All you've got last gen nano machines. So I'm guessing all of you as army. <clears throat> I don't know what you're here for. But you want to be well equipped, am I right? So, can we talk business or what? You won't regret. What's your take on Emoticon? I don't particularly like the guy. But it looks like we'll need his help with those ID guns. Sonny's been doing a little sleuthing. Sleuthing, I like that word. Drebin, a well-known gun launderer in war economy circles. He's a businessman who deals mainly in selling black market firearms to small PMCs of local militia. Somalia, the Balkans, Lebanon, Darfur, Chechnya, Timor, Peru, the Punjab, Kashmir, Colombia. This guy really gets around. Mm -hmm. How's he pull it off anyway? You can create a non-ID gun by replacing the ID recognition chip with a counterfeit version. This enables you to bypass the ID recognition process and use the gun. The problem is that there's still a record of the chip being replaced on the system side. Drebin's an employee of AT Security. He must have connections on the inside erasing records for him. You think the Patriots are involved somehow? I'm not so sure. If the Patriots were running the system from behind the scenes, then a weasel like Drebin would be a real pain in their collective ass. Mm -hmm. Can be trusted. Remember, Drebin's a green collar. He makes his living off the war economy. He doesn't let emotions get in the way of business, and he never gets his own hands dirty. The only thing he trusts is money. I share your concern, but what if we keep him at arm's length? Use him only to get intel and the supplies we need. Keep it strictly business. Oh, there you go. All right. Don't have to trust him. Just use his stuff. It's just business, is all. We ready to make a deal or what? <laughs> okay then, let's talk business. This is a war zone. There's product coming in here by the truckload. And you'll be picking up a lot of guns in the field, I'm sure. Whatever guns you don't need, I'll take and buy them off you. That'll earn you points you can cash in for service. Like what? I'll launder your ID guns. No more locks. And I can also sell you the guns I've got in stock. Let me show you. Nice place. Sewn Coca Cola vending machine. To ensure you can use non ID guns, I'm going to have to suppress the nano machines you got in here. Otherwise, they'll interfere with the system. Here, stick yourself with this. It's full of suppressor nano machines. Relax, it won't hurt. Scared of needles or something? <laughs> Let's do it. See? No sweat. Now you can use non ID guns, no problem. Hey, be nice to our kids. Step outside. Normally in cutscenes when the site goes down like that, you'd press X to make it refill. Sometimes they'll refill automatically though. Mm 
And all. And the system clamping down on things. System codes are the law now. And control's essentially absolute. Paving the way for bad profits if you're willing to bend the law. The man keeps on growing thanks to the war economy. I sell ID guns to the PMCs and state armies. And naked guns to terrorist groups and paramilitary. Huh. These ID guns can't be sold on the black market. System's practically a license for us arms dealers to print money. Hmm. That's one way to look at it. The military has made the PMCs big and bloated. The fatter the PMCs get, the line between civilian and soldier is gonna get real blurry. Sooner or later, the whole damn human race is gonna be green cop. More like we're all gonna be fighting proxy wars. Well, if everybody's doing that, then who's setting them up and how are they fighting them? This war economy puts the food on my table. Guess we better start the war economy then. Hmm? Better bring this stuff down. What makes you think you know me? Nothing to be ashamed of. I'm the same way. I grew up here too. I got no interest in the outside world. All right then. If you need me, holler. We specialize in speedy service. Catch my drift. I catch your drift. That was bright, isn't it? Let's call it. I know what you're thinking, but Drebin does have a point. The world depends on war, on the war economy. Can you imagine what would happen if war just disappeared overnight? <laughs> You'd have to find a new you way to make Drebin money. You both mentioned something about a war price earlier. What did you mean by that? It's a kind of market price, one that fluctuates according to demand, not only for PMCs and military industry, but for the production, distribution, and energy supply networks that support them. <laughs> it's been growing by leaps and bounds, and investors are really starting to take notice. As the fighting in any given area becomes increasingly intense and prolonged, the war price goes up. No doubt Drebin's rates are linked to that war price. The longer and bloodier a battle becomes, the higher service prices are going to get. Now, to put it another way, the quieter things are, the better the bargains. Snake. We'll use the Mark II to deal with Drebin from here on out. He's what you might call a street vendor. The Mark II can act as a kind of delivery boy, connect you with him. I'm adding a Drebin menu item to the Mark II's weapon menu. Whenever you pick up multiple units of the same weapon, any extras will automatically be sold to Drebin. Any ammo that's inside gets added to your cash. In other words, you keep the ammo, and the weapon itself gets traded to Drebin for points. Oh. I see. You can then use the points you've earned to unlock ID guns or buy new weapons. Very nice system. Sounds good. We should assume Dremen has other agents collecting guns for him besides you, Snake. You know, freelance green collars who collect weapons in exchange for services. Guess I'll have to rely on him for now. Okay. Now go meet up with our informants, Rat Patrol. Snake. If you really look around though, you probably won't ever we'll actually to to need to use Dragon. The only way across is straight through. 
thing he's good for though is um shoot that could get something useful out of it. He is upgrading your guns. Putting my suppressors and stuff on them. Yeah, I know, I obsess over the stupidest things. This one really good gun. I don't know if I have it unlocked yet. Nope. Wait, what? Operator. For custom. I'm leaving these two here because those are always going to be there. Like I said earlier. Actually, I don't think I said that earlier. What am I talking about? Uh, if you come out of a cutscene in which snake used either the operator or m4 custom at any point it'll take up a weapon slot and if all your weapon slots are already full with other stuff then it'll be taken up then it'll replace something Careful, snake. The walls could come down any second. I'm sure they're fine maybe not so fine I'm not going to go pick up those guns because I might get caught doing it. I'd rather not get Oh! I'd rather not get caught doing anything right about now. Oh. There was a way you could use either R2 and R1 and or L2 and L1 to get across. I guess not. Whoop. Why are you pulling out your knife, Snake? I'm not gonna hurt you, he's mil he's militia. <laughs> Quick note, you can befriend the militia, but you cannot befriend the PMCs. They will always be hostile to you. No matter what. And, there, and in the next act there will be rebels and you Like I was saying, in the next act, there. Oh, Only until the stun. Oh man. <laughs> oh, the things you see in war nowadays. Like I was saying, in the next act, there are rebels who basically function the same way. You can befriend them, and they won't attack you. I don't think they'll attack you regardless. But anyway, you can befriend them, but you cannot befriend the PMCs. PMCs will always be hostile to you. I'll leave the militia costume on if I can. Okay, Snake. If it gets to the point where it's just not very useful, I'll take it off. You know what? It's not very useful right now. I like the militia costume though. I'd like to keep it, but. Alright. Let me just roll. What?
Okay, well, I thought the militia were friendly. I guess not. I'm gonna wait right here for my health to regenerate. That angers me. I didn't even know. I thought I could just roll by him and it, everything was perfectly fine. Nope. See right there. Automatically hostile. It's a striker. The BMCs have sent reinforcements. Now their defensive line is a lot thicker. Gonna be tougher to break through. That striker will be shooting at you too. Stay on your toes. It might be best right. to avoid that area altogether if you can. All right. Got through that area with relatively little difficulty. That was BS. That one alert that I got. That was complete and utter BS. Two from earlier were BS too. I'm just throwing that out there. Go to sleep. He will eventually. There you go. out the sniper while he's actually sniping. Yeah. Is he still sniping? No. I don't want to try and crawl over their bodies and end up standing up and getting caught. Okay, moving, just keep moving.
guy. Ow. Somebody just shot me in the butt. Alright. Don't let me change my clothes. Hey, I like the militia uniform, man. Don't judge me. Sneaking for a little bit. <laughs> Claymore. Set to night vision. So if anything comes up, you can see it because there's claymores around here. I mean, there's other stuff too, but there's mostly claymores. Oh, just not right here. Night vision also kind of works as thermal vision. See that right there? It's a sleep gas mine. These are littered all over the place. And if you keep following the, these, you'll find where you're supposed to go. Oh, I remember so many times when I've rolled right there. Trying to get the item and I didn't see the claymore. I rolled trying to crawl. Thinking I could just pick up the claymore that way. No, it didn't work. Not at all. Smoke grenades. Weapons, explosives, stun grenades, smoke grenades. Oh, yeah, see what I'm talking about? Let me just lay here for a second. Get my health back. I don't even think I need it because there's a cutscene coming up and my health should actually be all the way back up. <laughs> 